absolute chaos. This makeup bag is gonna be the death of me. I'm not sure if my neighbors are like watching me because like my blinds are like super open. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, hello, guten tag. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Today I decided to do this look. I kind of was like playing a little bit around with my soft glam palette. I was going to introduce the Huda Beauty Electrics palette, but didn't quite get there. I'm also used it for a mirror. Used a couple of new things on my channel because I've um, gotten a couple of new things. I kind of wanted to introduce a couple of new things that I haven't used at all on my channel before, which I picked up recently. So yeah, they're in this video. Don't know what else to say, but uh, if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. I don't exactly really know what I'm going to do today, but I'm just going to wing it, I guess. I purchased the Anastasia Soft Glam palette recently. I've got the Huda Beauty Electrics palette. Um, I've got some Stiller glitter. I'm trying to use a couple of things that I haven't really used on my channel before, just so I can change it up a little bit. My camera's already saying it's going to die, so pray for us. My skin's been a bit of a mess the past month just over a month um, but it is calming down so this is getting better and it's been progressively getting better over the last couple of days because a, of a um, specific soap I've been cleansing my skin with it's Dettol Sapoderm don't know how great it is like for your skin in terms of drying it out and stuff like that but it's um, an antibacterial soap and this is like a bacterial thing it's not acne or anything like that so this is helping it get better very, very quickly. I was on antibiotics for it and everything and that did absolutely nothing. So anyway, let's get started. I'm just gonna prep my lips with this Laneige um, Lip Sleeping Mask. This is actually the greatest thing ever. It's sold in Sephora. It's um, a Korean brand. And this just keeps your lips feeling like extremely luscious all day long. And it smells really good. It smells like those old, um, the Body Shop like a watermelon lip balm that comes in like a little tub thing as well. Let's start with primer. So I'm going to use uh, the Lip From Within Mecca Cosmetica Eliminating Primer. This was like a birthday, birthday, birthday gift thing. Um, my auntie had it, she gave it to me. I could probably go pick mine up because my birthday was last month. But anyway, I'm just gonna take that all over. Comes in a two pack with the um, Perfect Setting Mist, Perfecting Setting Mist which is actually amazing. And I'm going to, for foundation, use my Laura Mercier Silk Cream. I'm gonna mix Sand Beige and Bamboo Beige. Bamboo Beige is a little bit like palish for me at the moment. Um, as you can see, my neck's a little bit darker than my face and then Sand Beige is a bit dark, so. And I'm just gonna push it into my skin, kind of in my problem areas first, to kind of get that coverage. And then blend it out. I'm nervous if this battery dies, that I'm just gonna not continue the video. <laughs> and I'll just wash my face. And then we're gonna go on with concealer. I'm gonna use the Sephora High Coverage Concealer. And I'm just gonna take this under my eyes first. Generally in the areas that we highlight. All of that. And then blend it out. I do want to put a little extra coverage just in a couple of spots. I'm going to take the concealer a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm just going to press it in to those areas. I'm supposed to go for a walk this morning. I got as far as putting on what I was going to go for a walk in minus the shoes. And then I sat down. And then I was like playing on my phone, scrolling through Instagram, watching a couple of YouTube videos, um, put my washing on, decided to make myself some lunch. I was like craving sauté chicken for some reason. And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to make some. But I don't know why, like I woke up at four o'clock this morning feeling nauseous as hell. I went out last night, but I only had like four drinks and I came home feeling fine. And I came home before 11. And I was very confused. 
with why I woke up feeling so ill. Like I honestly really wanted to throw up, but I knew it wasn't going to happen. I was very confused, stayed up for probably, it felt like around two hours before like I eventually fell asleep because I didn't feel sick anymore. And then I kind of felt a little bit nauseous again, um, like around lunchtime. And then I kind of just was craving that, so I just made some and I felt a little bit better after I ate it. But I'm still feeling a little bit flat. Don't know if it's like from all the sugar I've been consuming lately. I kind of went on a rampage in Coles the other day and got watermelon sour patch babies, which are like delicious. Have to try it. And also those lint sensation fruit sensation or something like that it's like cranberries and raspberries well like not actually the actual fruit like it's like a um it's like cranberry and raspberry center with like dark lint chocolate on the outside it's, it's the ball this is turning into a little bit more of a chit chat get ready with me even though i'm not going anywhere I'm just going to set my eyelids using my um Tarte Amazonian Clay Smooth Operator in Medium, which I now use to sort of set the center of my face because um, I'm a little bit more combination. Okay, we're going to go in with the Soft Glam. I have a feeling I'm going to just kind of do what I wore last night, maybe with like a little bit of glitter or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, I've been loving the Soft Glam palette. It's been amazing. So I'm going to take burnt orange and I'm going to pop that into my crease. And then I'm going to take this dirty ass brush that I also used last night and we're going to go into Sienna. And we're going to take that a little bit more targeted into the crease and blend it through the burnt orange. I guess since this is a chit chat, I'll just let you know what's been happening in my life. It was my birthday a few weeks ago and I went back to Sydney for it to see family and I also had a wedding. I had a wedding on my birthday. It was my friend Lucinda's wedding. If you're watching this, Lulu, congratulations again. And thanks for wishing me a happy birthday on your day, even though you said you weren't going to. It was a great night. It was amazing. Food, music, the entertainment, just getting dressed up to the nines. It's been a while, never do anything over here still, because I'm working on my budget plans. Being very strict with my cash, because I need to just pay these bloody debts off. Honestly, if you can't afford to go anywhere, don't do it. Don't get a credit card, take a loan, don't get anything. I don't regret putting myself in debt for my experiences, but I do regret not knowing or not being smarter with my money. This is what they need to teach in school. Not fucking other this bullshit like cells of a plant. When am I gonna need that? If people want to learn about that, they can learn about that in university. Anyways, I'm going to now take um, Mulberry. No, we're gonna take Rustic. I'm gonna take a slightly more dirtier brush. And we're going to go a little bit into Rustic and I'm going to tuck that right into the crease. Just to give a little extra depth. Alright, now we're going to go into Mulberry, which is this gorgeous Mulberry colour. So full of creativity with work. And then I'm going to take that and pack that all over the lid. All the way up into the crease. Yeah, other colors are cooking. And grab a slightly less dirty brush and sort of maybe grab Sienna again and blend that. Repeat to other eye. If you don't already follow me on my 
normal Instagram account, my non-makeup one. Um, I do enjoy cooking when I can be bothered. Um, and I do put on my Instagram stories like what I cook step by step. It's called Trap Kitchen. Um, it started off with that name because when I started it on Snapchat, I just was like cooking with like trap music in the background. So I called it Trap Kitchen. And then um, the name stayed, um, but it also developed a new meaning. Like when I moved out for the first time, I pretty much only had one of everything or didn't even have everything. Like I still don't even have a wooden spoon and I have like one of every like kitchen tool kind of like thing in my kitchen because I haven't bought stuff. So it ended up being like that, like almost like, like, like just a cheaper like hood kitchen style, you know, like, so yeah, that's how that started and it stayed because the name was still appropriate. So trap kitchen it is. And I was going to film my saute today, but I just, I just wanted to eat. I was just in an intense craving session. I can't even talk right now. I just wanted to eat basically. No time for filming this and filming that and chopping that while I'm trying to do this and whatever else. I just wanted it in my mouth. That's what she said. It's like so distracting to have this half of your, this much of your face done so far and still no eyebrows. What is life? I'm going to put some mascara and lashes on. Left the mascara in the room, so I'm just gonna put lashes on because I'm not getting up again. So I did my brows off camera as well. So now they're on. I'm gonna go back into this tart powder and I'm just going to set my T-zone. Oh my god, who's seen Rihanna's um <laughs> makeup tutorial? Isn't she just the best? Like dead set. Beach please. Beach please. Get it? Yeah. She's goals. Also, my hair is like growing so fast. I literally just had it cut in Sydney and I'm pretty sure it was cut after here. And this was like two weeks ago. It's really weird. Because this hairdresser guy, apparently all of his clients that he cuts hair for, they say that after he cuts it, their hair just grows. So my battery died. I have no idea what I was talking about in the last part of my video so we will just continue probably should have put the glitter on before I put my lashes on but since we do everything backwards here let's put the glitter on now um, I might oh, I don't know whether I should put it on the inner corner or in the center oh maybe I should put this underneath the lower lash line yep Sorted a glittery lower lash line. Not sure how that translates on camera, but it also kind of looks like I gave myself pink eyes. So, <sighs> hmm. well, I'm gonna just go to the outsides of my eyeballs, and I'm gonna take Sienna and Rustic from the palette. And I'm going to dust it along the bottom. Take Cyp Cypress Umber. Again, left my mascara in the bedroom so I can't do my bottom lashes. But I think this is it. I don't know whether to put this in the waterline. You know what? Let's just do it. Fuck it. I've come this far. You know? So using Marc Jacobs Fine Wine in the waterline. I have to get some eye drops before I take any selfies. Dear Lord. This shit's great. You gotta get on it. Well guys, there you have it. Here is my soft glam makeup tutorial slash chit chat get ready with me because I wasn't sure what I was doing and then I kind of just did what I did last night but then I decided to change it not sure if I fucked it up so oh wait I don't even have a lip on what the fuck
All right, I'm going to use Spice Girl and then I'm going to use something lighter in the center. This is the Huda Beauty. Maybe a touch of this in the middle. Yes. And guys, there you have it. This is my soft glam makeup tutorial that I kind of made up on the spot. I was going to do what I wore last night when I went out, but I kind of changed it up a little bit um, as we went along, as you could probably tell, because I had no idea what I was doing. Hope you liked it. Um, if you've made it this far into the video, then congratulations. You don't win anything. You just win the fact that you made it to the end. Also, if you haven't already, like and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and um, I'm really bad at intros and outros. Just kind of sucks. You know the drill. Every other YouTuber says it. Like, subscribe, do this, do that. Follow me on all my other pages. They're going to be links down below. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.